right, Hillmount, welcome back to another edition of Posen PE. We're very excited today because today we're playing a territory invasion sport that uses an implement. It uses a ball, but they're not played with on the ground. All right, yesterday we played field hockey. The implement was the stick. The ball was actually uh, the ball. <laughs> the object was the ball. And as you know, we played with it on the ground. Today, we're still using an implement, still using a ball, but it's not play with on the ground, it's actually play with in the air. All right, here's what you need. It's a little bit tricky, and I'm not quite sure what you're gonna use if you don't have one of these, all right? This is a special stick, all right? It's a stick that a ball can easily go into, okay? The most common thing you might have if you don't have these at home is scoops, all right? So if you have scoops at home, like, an ice cream scoop a giant right for playing outside with use those that would be perfect all right if you don't you could try a shovel maybe you could try to make your own maybe okay test it out first the ball should be able to go into the pocket this is called the pocket of the stick and stay there okay and stay there even on the side a little bit so that you can shoot or pass or throw the ball okay um, other than that, it's really easy. You should have a net, all right? As you know, for the net, you could use a real net like this one, or you could just use two pylons or two water bottles to make a net, two spots on the wall, a couch, whatever you want your net to be. Okay, and speaking of water bottles, make sure to grab your full one as well, all right? Pause the video here, go get all your stuff, and we'll see you very soon for lacrosse. Lacrosse. Oh, I hope you got what you needed for lacrosse. It is time to warm up our bodies first, so come follow me. We're starting with the march. Welcome back to the Posen Basement. As you know, I'm Mr. Posen. Ella's here with us today. Jacob's here as well. And we're excited to be playing lacrosse with you. Let's take this to a side step. You got it. Lacrosse uses our whole body. Our legs, our core, our arms. So we are going to warm our whole body up to get ready for it with an arm swing. You got it. With an arm pump. With the row. With the curl. And with the fly. Can we take this to a grapevine and step behind and then a touch? There we go. With the hop on these grapevines. You got it. Take it back to the middle and a march. Let's try our V step. Remember, we're going forward, forward, back, back. Here we go. Great job to you. Get ready to switch directions in four. And we're going to switch. You got it. Get ready for the wide step back in the original direction. Right foot first. Here we go. Remember, it's step, step, and then hop, hop. Good. Do you feel your body getting warm? I hope you do. Can we switch directions on that one? Good. Keep your wide step going. 
Lacrosse players have to have really good footwork. All right, let's march into the middle. We're going to try the box step. Right foot comes over, left back, right back, left forward. Here we go. You got it. Remember, you don't have to do it as fast as that, all right? You can slow it down a little bit if you need to. That's totally fine. Get ready to switch directions. All right, I'm just going to check. Yes, you're ready to switch. Let's switch. You got it. Let's do some jumping jacks. We're going to take these jacks to a run in four, three, two, and run. Good. Let's get some quick feet going. You got it. Right to the end of this song. Let's really get that heart rate up. Great job, everybody. Grab a drink from your bottle, and we'll see you for the aerobics. All right, Hillman, I hope you're ready for the lacrosse aerobics. So grab your stick, grab your ball, make sure your ball's nicely in there, and let's give it a try. We're just holding our sticks. We are keeping our march going since our legs and our body are so nicely warmed up. All right, let's put your ball down for now. You just put it down behind you, and just get comfortable with your stick. All right, we're actually going to stop that mark. You have two hands on your stick. Let's squat down. And we're going to go over to the left side, to the middle, to the right. You got it. Middle, left. Beautiful. This really works our core really nicely. It's not a race. All right, use that stick to help you. You should be feeling it in your legs. Let's just do four more of these. And last one. Beautiful. All right. Grab your ball. Keep your march going. Now, when you grab your ball, him, and I hope you can see on your video here, I got my ball on the ground. Try to keep your march going and try to pull that ball in and up onto the netting of your stick. Let's try that again. Ball's on the ground. Keep your march going and try to pull it in and keep your march going. Try that two more times. March. Pull it in and up into the netting. One more try. March and keep that march going. All right, just hold the stick in your right hand. Ball in your stick. Can you transfer it over to your left hand? Can you transfer it back to your right? Left. Keep the march going, hill now. Back to the left. To the right. To the left. To the right. You got it. All right. Keep that uh, ball and stick. Keep that stick in your right hand. Got it in your right. Beautiful. And we're just going to try with it in your right. Hold it with two hands. All right. On your right side. To just throw your ball up into the air. Keep the march going. If you drop it, no big deal. You know how to pick it up without using your hand. All right. So the ball's on the ground. We already know how to pick it up. We practiced that. All right, it's just on your right side. Keep your march going nice and easy. Beautiful. I know it's tricky to catch it. You can see we're having trouble too. All right, just do the best you can. And we'll work more on that later on in our skill. Let's try at the left side. So that your left side. Same thing. You're trying to throw it, to catch it. Right in that lacrosse stick pocket. Beautiful. All right, you ready for the tricky one? Let's try the tricky one. It's one side to the other. All right, so I have it on this side. I'm throwing it to that side, and I'm trying to catch it there. I have it on the left side now. I'm throwing it to the right side and trying to catch it over there. Keep your march going, Hail Mount. Can you do it? If you drop it, no big deal at all. Just take it right back up. 
There we go. All right. Let's try something else here. Hold your ball up. All right, you're holding your stick up. Keep your march going. Can you do it to the other side and the other side? Can you even move your stick a little bit with the ball in it? Keep your march going. Helm out your legs are nicely warmed up. And can you move it all around? If you get good at it, can you move it all the way around your body, behind your back, and still keep that ball in there? Maybe under your legs and still keep that ball in there. Maybe over your head and still keep that ball in there. Try different combinations. See if you can do it all around. If it drops, no big deal. You know how to pick it back up. All right, end of the song here. You can work on what we just did. You can work on your throws, or you can work on your pickups. The choice is yours. Or you could try all three like I'm gonna do. I'm gonna pick it up, I'm gonna do a throw, and then I'm gonna try to do it behind my back. Woo! Oh, almost. All right, grab a drink from your bottle. Let's learn the skills of lacrosse. Grab your stick, grab your ball, have your net ready, but we're not going to use it quite yet. We're going to start with our stick handling skills. First of all, when we hold our stick, I'm right-handed, so I put my left hand at the bottom of my stick, showing the knuckles out, and I put my right hand in the middle of the stick, fingers out, fingernails out, all right? Knuckles on the bottom, opposite of the dominant or non-dominant, Dominant hand in the middle of the stick, showing the fingernail. All right. When we stick handle, it's called cradling the ball. All right. Think about a cradle and how it cradles a baby. All right. So you're cradling it, making sure it won't fall out, it won't go out. Okay. It's easiest if you just keep it down, right? But if you keep it up, Try to get it down every so often so your ball won't fall out of the stick. So it will just stay right in there, okay? If it does fall out, no big deal. Just get it right back in without touching it with your hand. You know how to do it. All right, let's work on our passing. For our passing, we usually pass overhead, okay? We don't usually pass underhand, although I guess we could if the person was close to us. Let's work on that first, shall we? Left hand at the bottom, right hand in the middle. You're stepping with your non-dominant foot and you're going to pass forward, okay? I'm stepping and at the same time, I'm releasing up and following through right to my target. Pick it up, take your three steps back and then give it a try again. Step with non-dominant, and passing forward, extend your arms right through to your target. Beautiful. All right, let's try that longer pass, the one that's most commonly used in the game. Left hand at the bottom, right in the middle, and we're extending forward and through. I'm gonna show you without the ball, so I'm stepping with my non-dominant, and I'm extending so that my stick ends up down. Okay, and I follow through right to my target. Pretend someone's right in front of you and give it a try. Try to do three passes right in front of you. Get your ball, walk on back, and try it again. All right, good. Let's try our shooting net. For our shooting, we're not even gonna worry about the net right now, I realize, all right? For our shooting, it's the same as the passing, but we're just trying it a little bit harder. How do we do it harder? We bring the stick back more. We bring it forward quicker, all right? And the main thing about the shooting is our nets are low, so we wanna keep it down, 
All right, really swallow through down. So we pass to someone, we keep our stick more up because we want the ball to come up into their stick. But if we shoot, we want to shoot down. It makes it really tricky for the goalie, especially if it goes between their legs. All right, let's try three shots right in front of you, nice and fast and hard. See if you can aim for a spot on the door in front of you, or on the wall in front of you, or on your couch in front of you. Try to hit that spot if you can, or close to it. Even try to hit my face, but only if you're using a really, really soft ball. Really, really soft ball. Alright, we've all taken three. One more skill we're going to work on. You're holding your stick regular. When you catch it, you've got to really absorb the ball coming down. If you just leave your stick flat, the ball will hit it and bounce out. So instead, absorb it. That means I bring my stick down as the ball is coming down to help to absorb the impact. The same like when we catch a ball, we bring it in. Okay, the same thing with lacrosse. So knees are bent, throw it underhand to yourself and try to bring that stick down to absorb it. To absorb the impact of the ball coming down. I know it's tricky, you can tell it's tricky for me as well. Give it a try and see if you can do it. Absorb that ball coming down and try to catch it right in to your stick. Are you able to do it? Good for you if you are. Let's work on our defense next. Put the ball behind you. For defense, I just hold the stick in my left hand, all right? And I'm ready to play some defense on the person. If they're on the my left side, I have my stick like this, I am ready to get them. If they're on my right side, I bring it back over and I have two stick, two hands on my stick. I could do that on the other side too, I just get a little bit twisted up. I have much longer range if I'm going with one hand. All right, and one thing you're allowed to do in lacrosse is hit the person's stick who has the ball. All right, so knees bent. Hand on the stick, non-dominant. They're at that side, let's get them. They're at that side, let's get them. They're in front of us, let's knock their stick. They're behind us, let's get ready to go back. All right, let's try that again. Right side, left side, forwards, back. Beautiful. And the last defensive skill we're gonna work on is our goaltending. Goalies in lacrosse are massive. They find the biggest guy they possibly can. All right, and the reason for that is he takes up or she takes up most of the net. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves as big as we possibly can to take up most of the net as well. Now be careful. Look where the big hole is between your legs. All right, so when you're, when you're goaltending, you have two hands on your stick, or you have one hand on the stick. The choice is yours if you think you can catch it, but you've really got to watch between your legs. All right? You could put your stick here, but now you got to watch over your shoulder. All right? It's a tricky game. All right, let's pretend we're in a ready position, holding our stick regular. Let's pretend it's going to our left shoulder. Get that shoulder up. Make yourself big. It's going to your right shoulder. Get that shoulder up, make yourself big. Here's the tricky one, it's coming between your legs. Get low. Let's try that again. Between your legs, get low and get your stick in the way too. Good, and it's coming right at you. Get ready to catch it, or even to catch it with your stick. All right. All right, Hillmount. Grab a drink in the meantime, and we'll see you soon for the game. Back, Hillmount. We've learned the skills. It's time to have some fun. Let's play some lacrosse games. Grab your stick. Grab your ball. I finally found mine. And let's play some games. First game is just an individual game. How many, how many pickups can you do in a row? So if you do one, 
Try to get to two in a row. Each time you pick it up, just drop it back onto the ground and try to see if you can keep your pickup streak going without dropping that ball. How many pickups can you do in a row? All right. Our next game is called our Stick Handling Challenge. For the Stick Handling Challenge, you're going to be stick handling as you walk. As you walk, follow me. Let's walk around. Stick handle. Can you, as you're walking, can you bring the stick around your body? Keep your walk going. All right, we're changing direction so we don't get dizzy. Leader will tell us to do something else. What's the leader going to tell us to do? Jacob's the leader this time. Through the legs. We're all going to try it and keep the walk going. Through the legs. Like follow the leader stick handling edition. All right, we're switching directions, and Ella's our final leader. What do you want us to do, Ella? Over the head. Over the head. Woo. A little tricky. If you make a mistake, no big deal. Pick it right back up and try to keep on going. All right, Hill. Now, we hope you were able to do it, too. Now, if you're on your own, you could try these by yourself. Otherwise, if you have a partner, use your partners. Now, you only need one ball. Just one ball for these next ones. We're trying how many, how many passes can you and your partners do in a row? Maybe one will be your record. We have a total of zero so far. Let's see if we can get one. We still can't. Maybe you're beating us, Hillman. I hope you are. Remember to cradle that ball to absorb the impact. Beautiful. When that ball comes, our record is one. So we're going to see if we can get two. Can you get two, Hillman? Yes. Oh, good try. Last try. Yes! 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 Oh! Good job to you too, Hillman. Alright, let's work on our shooting next. We're bringing our net in. Remember, good hard shots. Always hit the net. Alright? Want it hard, but we want it on the net. Beautiful. Then just pass it to the next person, and it's their turn to go. If you're on your own, you get to shoot a lot. You're so lucky. Remember, stay out of people's way when they're shooting so you don't get hurt. You catching your stick. <laughs> Maybe you're going to make it bounce first. Maybe it's going to go straight in. It's up to you. Nice hard shots. Bonus points if they're between the legs, in the middle of the net, or to the corners of the net. All right, we're gonna try the same thing with the goalie. Jacob shooting, I'm making myself big, trying to save it. Shooter becomes the goalie, next person becomes the shooter. Try to look for holes in that goalie. You a great shot. And last one, keep it going, Hill Mountain, is going to be same thing but with a defender. So we're going to have a shooter, a defender, and a goalie. Defenders, remember, you're able to hit the person's stick, but don't hit their bodies. Uh, goalie becomes the shooter. Shooter becomes the defender. Defender becomes the goalie. It's tricky, isn't it? Especially in these tight spaces. All right, now we hope you had fun doing the lacrosse games. Grab a drink, and we'll see you soon for the cool day. All right, Hillman, welcome back. Let's stretch out our bodies so we're not sore for tomorrow. 
We're starting with an inhale. Keep your march going. Exhale. Breathe in. And out. Good. Let's take our head, just a gentle, stretching it out to the left side. And same thing on the other side. Lacrosse is a very important game for Canada. It was invented by the native Canadians. All right, and they used to play over miles and miles and miles. And lacrosse is so important actually that it was always one of our national sports. All right, I believe it was our national sport and the only one. And now I think hockey is considered our national sport or maybe co with lacrosse. But for years and years and years, I'm talking hundreds and hundreds of years, well, Canada isn't that year old, but at least for the first hundred and something years of Canada, lacrosse was our national sport. So it's a very, very important sport, and you can say now that you know how to play it. Stretch out our core. We also have a professional lacrosse team in Toronto. I wonder, Jacob or Ella, do you know what they're called? Toronto Rockets. It's, oh, not the Rockets, but the... Like that. Rock. Like... <laughs> the Rock. Just the Rock. Toronto Rock. I knew it was something All right. like that. And they actually play in the same place where the Toronto Maple Leafs play, our hockey team. All right, they play in Scotiabank Arena as well, but during the summer months, right? The Toronto Maple Leafs play there during the winter months. And then it's great because the Toronto Rock can play there during the summer months to use that arena as well. All right? Lacrosse is an amazing sport to watch. It's very, very physical. All right? They have body checking just like hockey. All right? But they're not on their skates, right? They're, on, they're in their running shoes. They're amazing athletes able to run, 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 run and play a quick game of lacrosse if you're interested, right? There's lots of videos you can watch about it online. All right, let me see how you're doing. We're gonna take this down to the floor. We're just sitting down. Let's start with a butterfly stretch. Pressing down on your knees with your elbows. Beautiful. Let's cross one leg over the other and hug our knee right into our chest. Shake that out, another side. And shake that out. Let's do some ankle rotations while we're here. Both ways. Each ankle. And other side. There we go. I hope you're feeling cooled down now. I know I certainly am. Grab a drink from your bottle and we'll see you back here for the health tip of the day. All right, Hill Mount. Today is Thankful Thursday. All right, and today we have to be thankful uh, for something that's a really, really important message, especially right now, all right? June, I don't know if you're aware, but June is Pride Month, all right, in Canada. And also, you might notice if you look at the news or if you talk to people, there's a lot of tension uh, going on in certain countries uh, between certain people, all right? And it all comes down to Hillmount that people are different, all right? Some people have different colored skins. Some people have different beliefs. Some people like certain people and, and, and some people prefer other kinds of people. Whatever it is, it all comes down to that people are different, all right? And my key message to you today is to embrace differences, all right? We always say we should treat people the way they want to be treated, the way we want to be treated. All right, remember Miss Bauer, that was her key message, what she always wanted to tell us. All right, and we know Miss Mankiewicz always says, think positive, feel positive, act positive. All right, we're always supposed to be positive as well. All right, and both of those messages have to do with treating everybody like a person, treating everybody equally, 
no matter what color their skin is or what their beliefs are or any of that, we need to treat each, each person with respect and equally. Okay, and that's the important message for you today. All right, there was a good test I heard the other day on the television and they said a good way to tell if you're really good at treating people equally is looking at your group of friends. And if you look at your group of friends, do they all look similar? Do they all have similar beliefs and look the same in terms of their height and gender and skin color and all that? Or are they different? Do they look different? Do they believe different things? Are they different genders? All that kind of stuff. All right. And good for you if you're in the second group. All right. If you have differences in your groups of friends. All right. That's what you're aiming for. It's called diversity. And we're so lucky here, especially in Toronto, that we have such diversity. And we know we have it at Hillmount too. We have different people who believe different things or look different, etc. And it's so nice, the Hillmount community, because I see you all treating each other with respect and embracing the differences. Okay, I didn't say just to accept the differences. We should embrace the differences because that's what makes Toronto and Hillmount such a great place to be, that we all are different. All right, so an important message for you today on Thankful Thursday. All right, Hillmount, we really, really hope you enjoyed our field hockey uh, field hockey, our lacrosse, lacrosse today. Yeah. All right. Uh, if you enjoy playing in your house, maybe you could even take it outside. All right. There's two types of lacrosse. One's called block box lacrosse, which is indoor, and one's called field lacrosse, which is outdoor. Maybe you could next try playing in your front yard or backyard or even at a park. All right. And as always, Hillmount, we want to see your photos, your videos, your comments. Please tell us what you thought of our lacrosse episode today. Okay, that's all I have to say. Uh, tomorrow, tomorrow is the last day of the week and our last day of Territory Invasion Sports Part 2. And tomorrow we'll be playing a Hillmount Classic. My clue to you will be, we'll be combining a few different sports. Those of you who have been at Hillmount for a little bit, you should know what it is. All right, that's my clue to you, and you don't want to miss tomorrow's episode, that's for sure. All right, that's all for today. I am Mr. Posen. Jacob's here. Ella's here. We're so happy uh, that you joined us today. And remember, Hillmount, to keep active, to stay safe, and to keep smiling. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.